Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and we're here to play Corpse Killer for the Sega CD. This is an awesome, awesome game. Corpse Killer. I think I did a good job on that. You know, him falling down with the parachute with the camera pointed down. It looks really uh, convincing. Nice beach. Kind of a creepy feel to it, even though it's daytime. Rawr. right there. That whole sequence right there, they did a real good job on it. Welcome to hell, sucker! Get your booty down here, you poor damn fool! Winston gonna cut you down, man. But we gotta jump quick now. Don't become. Corpse killer. You got options, you got the high score, you got to start the game. So here we go. We're gonna get started with the game. Get right into it. I got a lot of ammunition. Full life. Zero for score. We wanna get big, a hammer cheap like what Arnold got in Hollywood, huh? <laughs> That's a good set right there, how they arrange that. And here comes a zombie. That actually kind of creepy if it was happening in real life. Sitting there stationary watching a zombie. Alright. I thought this was really cool how they did this, how they, they have these levels where the camera's scrolling sideways, you know, and then it shows the zombies coming at you, um, makes you look 100% immersed because it's a real environment, you know. The zombies look really, really, you know, uh, scary. Although, although there's no Tarmans, I wish there was a Tarman in this game. Or at least the overweight fat woman from uh, Dawn of the Dead. The new Dawn of the Dead. That's funny. She read my stuff. Syndicated. But when I break the story, I'll have a book, late night talk shows, TV, the works. The only thing you're gonna break, lady, is your neck. Winston, I'm trying to talk to the lieutenant here. Has he been telling you about that crazy pirate story? It's pathetic. How about the voodoo witch doctor routine? Perhaps maybe you and I are a little bit later. I'm not driving you, Miss Daisy, in no place. In my bodyguard. This woman is evil business, bruh. She got you snookered already. So, Lieutenant, why did the Pentagon order its top search and destroy squad into this squalid little hellhole? Him not just Tuli guy. Him just pulled the trigger. Cool toy. I bet you know how to turn it on. And I bet you know how to do a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. What do you know about this guy, Lieutenant? Necrobiologist Dr. Elgin Hellman, the backroom darling of the Pentagon and the White House. I figured they set him up on a hush-hush project on Haywire. And yeah, we all know that actor. I'm right, aren't I? 
He's a famous actor from the 90s. He actually appeared in an episode of Tales from the Crypt. Morning Mess. I think that's the one. Hopefully I'm right. He's a hobo in that one. I get to the fort. I don't know what the hell those skulls are. Those skulls that that spikes on the bottom and the top it looks like a wheel or something, a rotating spike thing. And that skull, I don't know what the hell that is. Radical dude, we going in. Boom! Did a great job with that. Right there. There he is. He's actually a real good actor. You're the one decaying and dying. My soldiers have been. He doesn't appear too much in the new millennium, though. He hasn't done anything recently. It ripped them out of the ground and stood them up. Love how the potion looks. Eternal death is inevitable. You can have it in a box or standing tall. Your choice. This is another cool level. This is like a village. A very small deserted village. Here comes another one. Oh, got that. Got you too. I like those palm trees in the background, they're so high. They're tall. Oh, I get out of there. Whoa, close call. I like the I like that guy's face. I like that zombie's face. And here are the people you gotta save. Rescue, basically. You won't stop the lieutenant. The lieutenant's coming back for us. This and scene is pretty self explanatory what's gonna happen to them. Piece of crap. The lieutenant, he's something else. Or it'll continue on explaining. Bajama. Do the do do ma. This scene right here looks real cool. I like the density of the forest. Oh, how's that got? fog in the air and the trees are really thick everything's all bunched up together that reminds me of a of a jungle like thing not forest jungle sorry
Whoa. That's a nice transition right there. It's okay, woman. I got the tour plan for antidote. Bullets too. Good Whoa. Can't afford to lose your roster, man. Okay, man, you call it. Datura bullets. Datura. Lieutenant, the electro posse you're about to face is composed completely of electrocuted mass murderers. <laughs> Where did they dig these guys up? <laughs> In life, they showed no mercy. And now, they've really got nothing to lose. It's right here. <laughs> Patrice, yes. Electro Posse's got very sick dudes, bruh. Bad dudes, man. Bad dudes. Yeah, bruh. There's the great Babylon Patris now. Fantastic. Cover me, bruh. I'm going in. Zombie prisoners. This is where you fight one of the your friends as a boss, a zombie boss, but you uh This is more further down in the game. It's actually very difficult. The, your friends as you progress and you go through the bosses and your friends as as uh, zombie bosses. They become very difficult and more quick. So you have to use the special potion filled bullets. When I was a kid, this game was difficult. I never, never, never beat it. I got far, but I never understood it really. And now we're in. <clears throat> Oh, got hit. This is gonna be reunion place for you, man. But your soldier. Another great sequence right here. Even gonna fight your fears. Do you really think his crazy voodoo potion bullets are gonna change your back? Got to work doing it, gal. Oh, okay. Oh. Did you believe this place? Him one of the lucky ones. You know, I like zombie movies a lot, you know, um, this was in the era where they had, uh, um, where Return of the Living Dead was recognized. A lot of the horror films of Return of the Living Dead, um, there wasn't like a lot of cult, it wasn't like a, there wasn't like a fan base or nothing like that back in the 90s. There was a, a small group of people that liked zombie movies. But it isn't like now where like they have a uh, The Walking Dead has a huge fan base and will probably continue to have a huge cult fan base following, you know? But back in the day, 
I, I loved zombies as a kid because they creeped me out. It was scary, you know. I should have listened to your associate, Mr. Maliano. But I'm so happy that now, zombie movies and zombies in general, the creepy ones, um, are getting popular and people are making money off of them. You know, like they're just they're mainstream now, and uh, I love it. You know? Here is the boss, first boss. You can tell, yeah, that's him right there. I like the way they transform back to normal. This transformation is kind of a little bit, a little bit weird, but the second one I think has a better transformation. This face looks like it's like pushing out and in, you know. Lieutenant? Oh, thanks, Lieutenant. I owe you one. Flemmy Duffy and the captain, they're still back there. That freak Hellman still has them. We gotta get back there. You gotta help them, Lieutenant. You gotta. My access card. Use this. Maybe that'll help. Come on. <laughs> Drink this zombie cocktail. Love the way those look, those potions that look. Blood of zombie king. So I guess what they do is they just uh Drink. put dry ice in there and water. <clears throat> or in this case they color color the water and then the dry ice just kind of kind of seeps out from the top. Huh? There's no pumps or anything in there. You safe partner man. That's major fine gunplay, brah. You get Winston's treasure right soon, me tink. <laughs> we almost get eaten alive, and you're congratulating him. You got fine pictures, girl. Look good in Expose Today magazine. Yeah, I've been to states three times now. That's where they make Amar. America, very great country. Now this is a zombie level. Great level. I love this level. One thing that I never really thought about was, um, are zombies, uh, scary anymore? You know, it kind of, it's kind of intriguing to think, but like, are they or are they not? You know, cause like, a lot of kids are dressing up like zombies and dressing up like they're bloody and all that. Cause of The Walking Dead, but I hope that zombies are still creepy. I mean, I would hope so. Even though they become popularized. All I gotta say is that they well if they were real, I didn't Freddy Krueger was real, Jason were real, everybody would be scared. <laughs> we're righteous battle, brah. But since they're fictional characters in the film, they're not, you know? An extinct or long departed culture built these structures. They developed a practical science that we believe has been handed down over thousands of years and ultimately mythologized like that. into what we call today How they did that voodoo with the or black magic. Helmet U.S. guy talking. To reincarnate the science and marry it with modern technology. Sergeant or whatever, whatever level they have. All too well. We picked this up on a broadband scanner last night. There was... Some resistance at first, but the senators, the top brass, they all wanted it. I knew they did. Their decaying, life-ridden bodies were hooked from the first thrill of the battle videos. These are real, real great actors. We call them field tests, of course, but the slaughter was real. 
some third world dung heap. Real decent my president. We wired the zombies with helmet cams. Let me show you some of the footage. It's really quite extraordinary. And see, that's what I'm trying to say is that, uh, like what I was talking about in, uh, Super Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, the first part of it, of the three parts, um, game fa gameplay, um, I was talking about, um, how the fact that, like, oh, he's angry. Uh, but anyways, he, and we're talking, I was talking about the fact that, uh, that, um, like, how can how, how how can Hollywood how can filmmaking be continue when everyone is in on the secrets or in on the the idea you know like in in, in order for something to work people have uh, your audience cannot be in on your ideas you know your story they can't be in on the the hints or the winks you know. Like what I'm trying to say is that when you're a ma magician, you're not supposed to show the audience members not are not supposed to know how the trick is done. That's that's how that's how the magic works, and that's how uh, movies should work because it's supposed to you're supposed to keep things concealed. You're supposed to keep uh, plots concealed and stories con. It's, it, it, it's not supposed to be predictable. You know, you're supposed to wow people and surprise them. And like the audience, the general audience nowadays, they're already involved. They already know the plots. They already know what a horror movie is, sci-fi movie is. They already know when they watch the movie halfway through, they can predict um, what's gonna happen. You know, so like in in a way, it's kind of like um, the audience, the general audience, the moviegoer is already in on the secret or in on the the game. Back in the 50s and 60s, the audience that were in on the secret or the story or how it was done was very little. But now it's like 90 percent of the, or practically 100 percent of the whole audience. I like this part right here. Makes it look epic and really like a big important event. But uh, you know, like movies. Um, that's what I'm saying is that with action or whatever horror. Everybody's in on it now. They know that they're wearing makeup. They know that that's an electronic controlled ro zombie crawling on the floor with its with its legs ripped off. You know, um, they know um, that the good guys should win and survive and da da da. You know, except for Return of the Dead, where these are armor piercing shells. Where um. Especially at the I end, the, the whole entire city gets blown up with an atomic go bomb or whatever how it was. An explosion, you know, a weapon from the U.S. military. That was very different. No one survived that one. For zombie bites. <clears throat> one other one that I like is Return Living Dead 2, which is a real good movie. I loved how they filmed it in this in the homes in the neighborhood, and I, and I particularly loved it because there they filmed it in a neighborhood that was being built. It wasn't complete. The homes were still being built, and I thought that that was a, a nice unique touch to it. You know that I enjoyed. Magic straw man, Reaper, it wasn't a complete neighborhood, they were still building the homes and everything like that, and the sidewalks and all that, and I thought that was a really unique thing, you know. It added a layer of uh, of activity that was occurring within the story. That's why I liked it so much. But I, I kind of feel that they could have done without so much comedy in it, you know. Element has turned your squad into zombie slaves and has them guarding his factories. However, since they are the newly dead and not crossed over fully, if you shoot them with potion bullets, they will recover. Be Jama again. If you hadn't shot them all, I'm afraid you wouldn't be here. Yeah. <clears throat> the Shadow Man is shot while lit up. It kills everything around it. 
Interesting, huh? Filmmaking should go and come back. You know, it's gonna hurt their wallets, but it's gonna ripen and make the hearts bigger of the audience of the movie goer. You know, it, it will work, you know? Our media stonewall on Project Manpower has been holding until now. This Julie Barnes could be trouble for us. Nice Take little part right here. The Navy claims to know nothing of this man scientist. He promised the military the army of the living dead. Yeah, Freddy, zombies. Deal with it. Ten maximum and see, uh, cemeteries empty to remain. I mean, that's why they got the bodies for the whole project. Like the, the filmmakers, they try to act like... Get this. They try to act like um, when, they, when they're filming characters or filming scenes, they try to act like, oh... Well, you know, this is the part where the little boy gets scared by the zombie, you know? We don't want to scare the little boy. You know, you, you gotta make sure that the little boy knows that there's a man in that zombie suit. I mean, come on, you know, like... You know, like, um, the kid... The kids... We're in the new millennium. We're in a new era. Like, they're already in on it. They already know what's going on. Everyone knows what's going on. The filmmakers try to act like if everything is, like, back in the 80s or 90s kind of mentality. You know? Like if no one knows nothing. And the remakes are not helping either, you know. That's a whole nother thing. Over there. I hear something. That's why we got these classic babies. Nice scenery right there. Get out of here. Come here, man. I find treasure coordinates, bruh. You got to follow me now. Very important location. He's nuts. You are absolutely mental, you know. He wants to take you on some wild goose chase to go find some pirate treasure. Now, I, on the other hand, have a major breakthrough in my story. And I can't wait any longer. You will take me there, won't you? Actually, when he looks at his pod, it kind of reminds me of uh, Fight Nights at Freddy's. Where he drops it down and brings it up. You know, that little screen. Forget Iran, Contra, and Watergate. Get ready for pod or paddle, whatever it is. lush greenery perfect for some zombie shooting perfect day to kill some zombies and actually the classic zombie zombie movie night of living dead is actually not so bad movie but i like the 90s remake of it night of living dead that one is the one i prefer i just love it i just love it just trapped inside the house. Although the ending is kind of sad a little bit. But it's a very realistic ending. Right there, how it looks like Fight Nights at Freddy's. He picks up the screen. Helen's got a 
sub. He must have Slay Crew half zombie eyes and stash somewhere. They're loading, leaving soon. New Orleans, Miami, a little inlet could be just the beginning of the end. Going in, cover my butt killer. And the action is just going and going, huh? We're just thrust into the action. Now the game has picked up the ball and running with it. A lot of prisoners. Ganda man. You're on a cover up mission, Lieutenant. For your fat cat political bosses in the Pentagon. Their evil and yours will be eviscerated by me. Ay, Elman. Palabra de bota la changa. Que cachipa no. Elman. Shipwreck beach bra. A little guy time. Cover me. I'm going in. Sunken ship. It's pretty cool. I work with that. <laughs> Actually found some treasure, huh? It was bound for Yucatan from Louis Quince's bodacious mistress when it ran afoul of Eddie Cheech, that's Blackbeard, you know. This went down about 1700. But they didn't have hummers then, so who cares, huh? <laughs> Come now, let's be jumping. <laughs> it's a very nice beach. I guess those big old black guys and the black skulls, those, those ones right there, I guess those are like witch doctors or something like that.
That's a nice cemetery. <clears throat> Careful, man. They can be anywhere. Now we're getting closer and closer to getting to the second little boss. Look at that go. I cut you in two, trigger man. A little. Well, that got them all. Although, uh, even as a kid, I noticed that uh, I didn't like the way the zombies looked. I think uh, I would have made them, I would have put more effort in terms of their, their makeup and, and get up, you know? These, these look like normal people just walking around, you know? With a little bit of paint on their face. Their clothes look too nice. That's a flying bad guy right there. Here at the cemetery again. Always accessing the data pod. So now we should be getting real close to the end of the second. This part right here is real cool. Pop out of nowhere kind of reminds me of uh, Area 51, some of the levels. It's 
see those things. This little ball with the spikes inside. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Going on for a ride. again it's a real beautiful lush island huh Man, do I love Halloween, man. This game reminds me so much of Halloween. Oh, he's calling him out. Zombie come soon. You keep him here. I go around back and get what we need. Uh oh, so it's you and me now. She's gonna use her camera to shoot the zombies. Look like homie zombies, thug, Latino zombies. Gotcha. Yeah, they could have done a better job of this game, but um, hey, I love it. It's zombies, corpse killing. It's a game, and it actually costs a lot of money to be traveling to islands, gain the equipment to record these scenes. Creating the game, paying the actors, getting that one actor. It, it it was new for the for the age, Sega CD. It was something very different, so it's worth it, man. It's an awesome game. It's zombies, it's corpses, so I love it. Got me, just the true plan, man. We are just about there. No place for you, Gab. Hope I have a wide enough lens to get all the flying intestines in frame. Everybody else.
only one question is how do they do that you know have this real environment uh, rendered in the game you know and then have it be with like cameras moving sideways through the environment that, that's real cool effect Alright everybody, this is Richard Cispedes. I'm going to end the game here. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to upload the second and final part to Corpse Killer for Sega CD. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's an awesome game. Awesome zombie game. That's why I wanted to upload it because it's zombies. I love it. And you guys take care. Keep an eye out for the second part of Corpse Killer for Sega CD. God bless.